and then welcome back to Survey of Engineering. Today we're going to be introducing our um, bioengineering product project and uh, talking about some motivation for why we're doing this project. Here are your portfolio questions for this video. First, why would there be a need for low-cost, easily maintainable and durable prosthetic limbs in developing countries? And second, what are the four components of a prosthetic arm and what is the purpose of each? So our bioengineering project for this unit is uh, going to be to build a prosthetic arm and we'll have uh, several tasks that you'll have to be able to perform with that arm. We'll talk about those later, but let's talk about the motivation for this project or why we would want to do it. So upper limb amputee population in developing countries is rapidly increasing. Uh, there are amputees who need prostheses in India alone. That number increases by 17,000 each year. Mostly the need for having a um, prosthetic limb or having to have a limb amputa amputated is caused by accidents from farm machinery and war. So these unrests and unrest and conflicts within countries are um, contributing and at rates that are much larger than the United States. There are estimates that there is one amputee per 650 citizens in Afghanistan, one per 400 in Cambodia, one per 350 in Angola, and that's compared to one per 22,000 in the United States. So it's happening at a much larger rate, and those are just numbers estimated from, from wars and, and conflicts. So not including accidental need for amputation. So what happens when somebody loses a limb? Well, it generally in a third world or a, a developing country, it means that they have lo lost their way to make a living. They've lost their livelihood and social status, which usually means that that person is left to have to beg for their survival. If we look at how often prosthetics need to be replaced for children who are growing, they need a new prosthetic limb every six to 12 months. And for adults, because of wear and tear and, and use, they will need a replacement every three to five years. Depending on when the prosthetic is first needed, this could mean that a person would need anywhere between 15 and 25 prostheses in a, life, in a lifetime. Now prosthetic limbs are, are pretty costly. In developing countries, the costs range from $125 to about $1,800. And that seems pretty low compared to what it would cost in the US, which was, would be about $5,000 to $15,000. But if we think about how many prostheses are needed in a lifetime, this can add up to thousands of dollars uh, that would need to be paid in replacements and maintenance over the lifetime of the person who needs the prosthetic limb. Now this is really difficult on an average $300 annual income for a rural family who is living in a developing country. This is hard to afford. Another aspect to why um, prosthetic limbs are so needed in developing countries is that importing specialized components to build prosthetic limbs is very costly. These imported parts are often built and designed in industrialized countries and usually designed for very different lifestyles and ways of living. In industrialized countries, there's less farming, less agriculture, less um, manual labor. 
In developing countries, on the other hand, generally they are in harsh environments. They're often tropical, meaning that there's humidity, and often the most prevalent industry is farming, which is pretty dirty. So conventional limbs that are made of wood and resin, um, how limbs used to be made and, and what you might have seen before, these only have a lifespan of about 18 months in these humid and dirty environments. So that causes the need for replacement even uh, more often. So there's definitely a need to have a low-cost uh, alternative that would be easily maintainable and, and durable for a prosthetic limb. Let's talk about the components that go into a prosthetic arm since that's what you'll be designing and you'll need to design uh, a method for each of these components. So there are four basic components to the prosthetic arm and you will need to uh, understand the function of each of these in order to design your um, prosthetic arm. The first of which is the socket, and this is how the uh, artificial limb will interface with the portion of the user that it attaches to. Um, or the stump. And basically this is also the support system for the, the limb. And then we have the attachment. This is how the prosthetic limb is held in place, how it's attached to the user. Also the extension, and this is what replaces the length that has been lost by the loss of the limb. And finally, some type of artificial hand. This is what will act and replace the, the functionality of a, of a hand, including gripping, holding, all those sorts of activities that a hand would do. So for your bioengineering product, a project, Here's your objective. You will be designing a prosthetic arm that can perform two tasks. The first is to open a water bottle, lift it, take a drink, put it down, and recap it. The second task will be to throw a ball at a target. Now you'll have a couple of constraints. Um, the prosthetic that you design must be body powered. That means that um, no battery operated, no motors. Um, if it opens and close, closes, the, if the hand opens and closes, it has to be performed um, using parts of the user's body. Um, and you may not use the other hand to open and close the hand or operate the, the prosthetic. Also, you may only use the materials that we will provide for you and that and your prosthetic should be as low cost um, as possible. The materials that we'll be providing will be things that would be um, readily, readily available at a, a hardware store.